Hi, and welcome to Parallels RAS. Today, I'll show you how to further secure your virtual desktops and applications by using Google Authenticator to enable multi-factor authentication. What is multi-factor authentication? Multi-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security to protect your account. With Google Authenticator's help, a unique one-time token is generated that combines with your credentials every time you perform a login attempt. Combining your password with a unique one-time token prevents attackers from accessing your resources, even if they gain physical access to your device and password. As you can see, from my desktop, I have set up my connection in my Parallels client for Windows to the Parallels RAS infrastructure. When I connect, you will notice that my credentials are already stored, so I immediately gain access to my application list. While this is convenient for the user, it adds security concerns because anyone that can gain access to my physical computer can access the published applications on my client. Now I will log off and activate Google Authenticator from the Parallels RAS management portal. First, I will provide the admin credentials. Go to Site Settings, then Multi-Factor Authentication Settings. Click Edit and select Google Authenticator from the list of available providers. Don't forget to click Save and apply all changes. Now, when I access the published applications from the Parallels client, the client will ask me to set up my Google Authenticator. As you can see, it gives me a QR code or a key. I will now use the QR code. So, I'll go on my mobile device, launch the Google Authenticator app, and scan the QR code. The app will instantly provide me with a unique one-time token. Next, I click on the Parallels client and enter the token. You can see my applications list from the Parallels client, and I can launch any application I want. Let us launch the calculator as an example. Now I will demonstrate the same process using the Parallels client for iOS. When I connect to the Parallels RAS infrastructure, you'll see that it requests the unique one-time token. If I go back to Google Authenticator, the app will give me the token to insert into the Parallels client. I access the Parallels iOS client and enter the token. Now I'm connected, so I can see my applications list and can launch whichever one I want. Thank you for joining me in this quick overview on how to further secure your Parallels RAS infrastructure by enabling Google Authenticator as a multi-factor authentication provider. If you like the video or have any questions, be sure to click the like button or drop us a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.